Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Oh my God, am I loaded for bear this morning. First of all, was that from Meet the Press? So I have to endure yes. that On Sunday yet, yes. again. Uh, oh no, I'm going to have to grab stuff for did. Monday. Although he did uh, confess to a bunch more crimes on Megyn Kelly's yes, show. So I, so, yeah, I think it's kind of important yeah. for him to actually appear yeah, on these please. programs. Prosecutors are like, oh, yeah. please, it's so ruthlessly absurd. Sure. <laughs> and we thank our team here at SiriusXM and, and the Megyn yes. Kelly show. We for love the Megyn Kelly show for, for being on the same <laughs> yes. network as For supplying us. prosecutors with even more. Yeah, was well, he not getting enough attention? I think I need to go, <laughs> you know. What do you call it? Uh, confess? Uh, confess. Yes, confess to espionage again. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, my God. Let's talk about this Hunter Biden bull. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Chris, you may want to be at the ready. I'm not sure the FCC is. Uh, please be don't. Happy this, with what's in my thought bubble. It's been a week. Bubble. You're a We've had issues all you week. Know, you know how to not <laughs> curse on your own program. You know what's happened. You know what's happened. You saw the tweet, Jody. Uh, Ellie Mistal has pulled me back to the dark side on yes. Eric Garland. <laughs> He tweeted, good job, Merrick Garland. Your weakness has orchestrated the indictment of a private citizen trying to overcome drug addiction so Republicans can try to hit a bank shot off of him to his loving father, all because you were afraid of looking political to Fox News viewers. Oh, my God. Where do I even start with this bull? Oh, my God. We'll talk to Glenn Kirshner in a few minutes. Yeah, he was on talk TV talking about Harry we'll Littman wrote a piece about it. This is such crap. You know when this ha has happened? The Harry did a piece. Never. Never. This has never happened. Never. Unless the gun is used in the in another crime. Yes, thank you. By a drug dealer, a, you know, they're, some kind of... They're trying to get that charge dropped under Second <sighs> Amendment rules. Oh, my God. I don't... <laughs> where do you even start with hypocrisy on the right yeah, wing? I know, right? I know. But Trump bragging about not playing his taxes. They don't want any, you know, what do you call it? Rules about... Laws about guns at all. Right. They're such hypocrites, and they're all... <laughs> Obviously, this is about political pressure. I mean, first of all, in what universe, not just Trump would have gotten rid of, if somebody was prosecuting his drug addict son. Whose eyes weren't allegedly. open. His mm. eyes weren't open on his latest whatever video that he does. That prosecutor would have been gone immediately, but not even just Trump. Like, that's yeah. just normal policy when there's a new administration. But because we always have to be the better, not just the good guys, the better guys. We have to be above politics. So he leaves this this Trump-appointed prosecutor in who then gets, a. I mean, seriously, we're going to have Frank Flaguzzi, right? On Monday, mm -hmm. the FBI is getting threats to people prosecuting Hunter Biden for not, you Doing know. more. Yes. For, oh, it's a sweetheart deal and whatever. So amid all this stupid political pressure for this stupid, <laughs> stupid charge that no one ever gets charged with, you have a, spe what is it, special prosecutor? Mm -hmm. You're, you're a bit shouty McShout face yes, today. Yes, she is. Oh, my God. Is that... Is that are you yeah, pain I, you're going to have an my aneurysm. Neck? Yeah. Are be you? careful. I mean, I'm ready, but yeah. just be careful. Yeah. It's a good thing yeah. we don't have Ellie Mistal booked today because I would just like... I'm like... <laughs> you would slide whistle, fly off into the ceiling. <laughs> Tasmanian devil uh -huh. cloud. Yep. Uh, Anyway, this I don't even understand the whole... Uh, Glenn will take us through whatever the stupid plea deal is that fell apart, blah, blah, blah. The fact is, if his name was not Biden, he would never no. be being... And what Are they only going to be happy when he relapses and kills himself with drugs? Will they be happy then? I mean, this is just... Talk about what a witch hunt is. Oh, my God. I mean, nobody... So now he's facing time in prison for this yeah, dumb years, political... Too. Yes. It's like 20 years or something. Yeah, thank 25 you. 25 years. Jeff Tiedrich on the hypocrisy shall not be infringed unless it's Hunter Biden. Where's the NRA? Why aren't they standing up for a private yeah. citizen's Second Amendment rights? I mean, all the usual suspects, right? All the right wing mm -hmm. that would be losing their shizzle mm -hmm. if this were someone on the other yeah. side. Where are they, yeah. right? It's like, oh, now this is absolutely, he should be in prison for this. Thank God, and I'm sure. Have you checked this morning? If all the MAGA meth heads out in America, they've stopped using, haven't they? Don't they're all giving up their guns? I assume. Oh, all the oxy MAGA heads have given up their guns yep. or their drugs. I assume, right? Is it? It's a conundrum, Chris. Your drugs or your guns? I'm sure either, or maybe they've all given up both of them now. Yeah. You know. You're into that. Oh my God. <laughs>
She's going to have I a know, you're... Wow. Can I just say... Did you have all coffee? Coffee? Did you Their whole... Like, <clears throat> there's, we have Peter Navarro whining today. Their thesis is just no Republican is guilty exactly. of anything, ever. anywhere, ever. It's always a witch hunt, and every Democrat is guilty of everything. Yes. Despite the fact that there is no evidence of any kind against mm-hmm. Joe Biden. It's just, I'm... <laughs> I think hypocrisy is my, finally making my head because everything they're accusing Biden of is what Trump did. You see, uh-huh. politicizing the DOJ uh-huh. Uh-huh. to see because okay, <laughs> what happened to that charge? By the way, is that gone? Also, the politicizing the DOJ now that the DOJ is going after Hunter Biden for this bolt. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> I'm worried. Oh, yeah. Jamie Raskin suggested um, yesterday that uh, there are going to be some investigations into. Um, it's, the Kushners. It's, it's, yes, the that's Kushners. what I mean. It's like you just think yeah. your head's going to explode. That right. The people that were just in the administration right. influencing and, and there's policy. there's a there there. There is a there there. Billions of dollars. Right. And they're, okay. Yes, so. That, Thank you. I, I mean, you know, think good things are happening. It's not all doom and gloom. It's not. Is this eye throbbing? Yes, <laughs> a little bit. Is it like. How much coffee it, have you had? It feels Yeah, I, that's a, a good bit. question. Yeah. A little bit. I'm okay. Maybe right. too much. A little teetery this morning. <laughs> It feels like it's going to be like one of those comedy glasses on a spring. Like this might be come out on a slide whistle later. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bobo lied about vaping. It's yes, on she tape. Did. We have it on. Oh tape. my God! Do you, you everything has machine. to be on tape. Does everything have to be on tape for Republic? The of course, she lied. Talking, doing oh, all this stuff. Oh, and sex acts. Uh-huh. And like, oh my God, she's the trashiest whore in the entire world. Her fake boobs popping out her of her. Boobs were too popping tight. Out. They were. Yeah, oh. I saw that. Vaping, yelling, d- d- engaging in sex sex. I'm like, oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait, I didn't hear that. Oh what? yeah, he was feeling her up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God, they're such trash. Oh, they're such trash. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I. You can see just, it in the infrared uh, camera part. It, she, and she's behind a pregnant woman and she's vaping. Yeah. And, and they'd asked her nicely. Right. Can you please Several times. Sh- stop and also you can't vape and don't. And she said something like, this is a free country or something. Yeah. No. She, there's her flipping like off that. and then right. flipping off the security right. guard as she walks out with her stupid fake boobs. All right. Come on, stupid. Gunnison. Come on, Grand Junction. You can do better. No, Grand Junction really can't do better. Gunnison's even smaller. Mm. Can I tell you the only saving grace <laughs> yesterday? So, you know, my new streaming addiction is The Good Wife. Mm-hmm. And who does appear in the last night's episode? Catherine well, Heigl? No, my, <laughs> no well, that would be a good guess. Yeah. Because there is one, not, there's no degrees of Catherine Heigl's separation. <laughs> she will end up in anything you're watching. <laughs> but my tiny baby nephew, oh. Paul Fitzgerald. He did, did he tell you he, he did No, he life? never tells me anything. Oh. I'm just like, no, that's my nephew. I've and seen him on Law and Order. Yes, he does a lot of. But anyway, it's Every hilarious. Every in New York he, does law. He and plays order. A, poli- uh, a politician that Alan Cummings has to do crisis management for because a picture surfaced of him filleting a Santa Santa Claus statue in college. That's funny. That's funny. It was like a college prank, and they it's a picture of him did, on so his knees. Did he have and to? Alan Cummings says the the expression on Santa's face does not help. <laughs> Alan Cummings very funny. <laughs> so did like. For production purposes, did he have to actually sit there and take a photo of him filleting a, a Santa Claus statue? Oh, I don't know, because it's just the back I of would his imagine. head, I, well, maybe, I mean, perhaps. Yeah, yeah I, I would think he would, so oh, that I they will can show him. it. I will get that information I would frame that. Yes. <laughs> I, I would put that on that my frame. mantle. I would so, put it on my so mantle then I, frame. Then I turned all fangirl. I'm like, Juliana Margulies, is she just impossibly gorgeous in person? Is she nice? Tell me everything. It's a fantastic cast he gets to work with. Harvey Firestein just played a judge. It was hilarious. Yeah. Good in session. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, I had to have something nice. I can have some nice things still. Well, you had Jamie Raskin yesterday saying that he's... Yes. Okay. All right, we want, We have to get into... <laughs> let's start with James Carble. All right. I want to get everybody's take this morning on this... I, I totally get... I've been saying this, and a lot of other pundits are saying with James Carble, this will be great for Democrats, for Biden, it's going to, but I'm wondering, are, are we in a different universe than when Clinton got impeached? Because he is informed by the Clinton impeachment, which was hugely good for Bill Clinton. 70-something percent of the American people didn't think he should be impeached. Uh, it helped him uh, lose the Congress I, after that. But I don't know if we're in it because there's this, this stupid this polling that's going to drive me Fox insane. News. Some higher percentage thing. Biden was involved in his son's, sure. despite, again, this is the, the and and I have to say, as much as we mock treason weasel Kevin McCarthy about admitting 
that the Benghazi hearings were to hurt Hillary's numbers? Guess what? They hurt Hillary's numbers. Because of the media. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, Jody. That's the piece. That's the puzzle piece is the media. Is we're just in a landscape where I, I, I don't know. I, I, you keep thinking all of us that live in the fact-based universe go, there's no there there at all with Joe Biden. They're going to look like clowns. But this is what they want is just throw the dirt, throw the dirt, That's throw the dirt. It, it's on TV. And so then people go, oh, well, Trump and Biden are both corrupt. When it's just, I, okay. It makes people hate politics. Yeah. yeah. Here is, here is a, it, but that'd be my question. Is yeah. James Carville thinking too old school or no? I, it's hard to say how it's going to play out. Well, my honest opinion is the people they have leading it are not very smart. In, in fact, they're borderline stupid. I mean, James Comer or, or, or Jim Jordan. And the people in the House that, that are going to be on this committee, like, like Dan Goldman or uh, Delta Plaskett, I think is a, from, from Virgin you. Islands, uh, Jamie Raskin, these are very smart people. I, I don't think the White House needs to worry too much about this and let these congressional Democrats who are a whip smart of just going to eat these people alive. Hey, that that I will say is true. I've said it before. Our side is so smart and so well prepared and comes and literally they have a clown show. Yes. It's Bobo right. and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jim Jordan and these idiot James Comer who, you know, but I just don't I guess in this particular universe with this particular media, I don't know how this is going to play out. I agree. Um James Carville, one more. 61% of people do think that he was involved. There's other numbers of people uh, who have questions about it. Do you not think that those hearings could, could raise those numbers, could change well, that? What's your sense? I think it would change it. I think it would drive it down because the public would pay attention to the hearings and they would see front and center how vapid and, and useless this entire endeavor is when it comes to the president doing any, anything wrong. I mean, they can. how much more can you embarrass Hunter Biden? Yeah. But there is zero evidence that the president did a single, had not made a single penny out of it. Yeah. I, I, think I mean, it did hearings, backfire spectacularly right. when they tried to impeach, impeach Clinton. That being said, he did get a BJ. <laughs> so, I mean, at least there was some there there. There was some <laughs> truth to it, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, one more. James, uh, Caitlin Collins and James Carville. And they're going to drive that point home, Caitlin. They're, they're going to drive it home hard. And our people in the House, I have a great deal of, I'm not so much affection for them, but respect and respect for their legal expertise. I wouldn't, I would not want Dan Goldman to cross examine me. I really wouldn't. No. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds like you're saying you think impeachment could be a good thing. Is that right? That is correct. You're not putting words in my mouth. You're saying, you know, in, in during the Civil War, when the Sherman marched in Atlanta, they told him that John Bell Hood was taking the Confederate Army North. He said, good, I'll send them rations. Let them go. Great. And that ended up at the Battle of Franklin, which was utter disaster. And that's just what they're walking into. That's because they didn't reinforce the airports during the Revolutionary right. War that was well very enough. Important. Right. Okay, last one. Do you Still want them to do the impeachment? What do you mean? I want them to hold hearings. Why do you think it's a stupid idea? I want them to hold hearings. And I want, and I want, to, and I want to let people, the, the American public see how, how thin, how non-existent their case is. The president did anything wrong. And I want our people who are quite effective lawyers to get them on cross-examination and do what they're going to do and make fools out of them. Yep. Well, th that is all true. But I, yeah. I just, this is what I mean about, uh, sorry, Merrick Garland, but I'm like, this is exactly what Ukraine was about. Just to say you're investigating, I'll have my Republicans in Congress do that. So this is all we're going to hear, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, mm -hmm. because now, oh, he's indicted now. Mm -hmm. There's already stupid... Pokey McCokespoon. Don Jr. Where's Hunter's mugshot? It's, he hasn't been arrested, you moron. Oh, my God. Can you, can you... First of all, oh, my God, Exhibit A for owns firearms <laughs> while on drugs. Oh, my God. I'm sure he's... How many forms has he lied on? Allegedly. Allegedly. Did you see the latest... Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the latest video with him? His eyes don't even oh, open. Oh, please. Oh, my God. They're not even open. I, this is where you think you're getting crazy pills between Jared and Ivanka and him. You're like, but wait, what? It's okay. All right. Glenn Kirshner wow. cannot get here soon you're enough. angry. She's in a mood. And I need Frangela because you know what's for dinner? Biden. Biden. <laughs> what's for breakfast? Biden. Biden. <laughs> Lunch menu is... Biden. Thank you. <laughs> 
Mm-mm, there it is, my first drink of the day, Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic. Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics and Z-Biotics. Check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine, I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now.